Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Malaga Road to Glory career mode here on FIFA 19. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think it's quite funny this one um, in the fact that it says, um, my, my choice pays off obviously, but it's the fact that it turns around and says he's having to adjust uh, to coming to such a well-known club. He's come from Man City to, to Malaga, but apparently obviously this is a step up for him, like, you know what I mean? which I totally agree with, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. But yeah, Mal um, Sane is um, settled in pretty well. Well, right. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was quite amusing to start the episode with. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, Barcelona. Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to play this one because, as you can see, we're down in fourth spot. Um, we don't want Barcelona running away too much with this. So I thought, you know, let's have a go against them. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we know what their um, sort of record is against us. They have beaten us. Yes, they have beaten us. But uh, their record is not impeccable against us. And we don't want them... Um, Getting too far ahead, and as you can see, they've not lost any, and they've won seven out of their first eight games. Which, um, yeah, we don't want to get too far ahead here. So I thought, yeah, um, I know we were concentrating mainly on the Champions League, obviously. Uh, at the end of the day, I've got to make sure that we keep um, the La Liga trophy within our grasp. But then we have got <laughs> Man City. Yeah, so. That is basically what is going to be in today's episode, guys. Those two games there, like, you know, the remaining trophies that are in this season as well. This might not be the last season. Who knows? You just don't know. You know what I mean? The season ends when we win the Champions League, so we're just going to keep going. And the more trophies we can amass in our trophy cabinet, you know what I mean? Um, the best. Um, the best. That's the best we can hope for. No, I don't think that's what I was trying to say. It's the best we can get. Best a man can get Gillette sponsored by this. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm rubbing on about. Right, let's take on Barcelona, shall we? And I'll shut up. <laughs> Right then, here are the um, two lineups going into um, this one. If you're wondering where Coutinho is, he's injured, just in case you're wondering where he is, and that's why I'm playing Dembele out on um, the left hand side there. But he's actually 88 rated, so Dembele's actually better than him anyway, sort of thing, but he is injured. Uh, but they've got, a, they've got a pretty decent lineup. Also, I've played Tete at the left back position because they only had Miranda, who's 75 rated, and I just thought, yeah, I know he's a right back, but he's still better than 75 rated. Just makes it, you know, more of a, of a challenge and stuff like that. I'm City, De Vrij, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and um, then we've got Rabiot, um, Arta, Arta um, Verratti in the midfield. It's a pretty good side, isn't it? But when you look at ours, ours is actually better, yes. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that um, pays out. Um, we've got Pavard up to 90 now. We've got Sulu at 90, Grimaldo 88, Armian's 89. Yeah, it's just a, it's a great looking side, isn't it? Like, I think San, I thought Sano was 93, but he seems to have dropped to 92, which is a bit worrying. He's not 30. I don't know why that, what, I'm sure he was 93. Maybe I was just, maybe I read that wrong, but I thought he was 93 when he was playing last episode, but yeah, I'll have to check that out. Anyway, let's um, take on Barcelona. So we're the highest scoring team in the league, and Barca have got the best defensive record in the league. Um, which makes a change because normally we're the ones, but I've not really been playing the league games, to be honest. Um, been sort of dipping in and out, and some of them have just been simming and stuff like that. Uh, but it's good to see that Barcelona are, are doing as well as they are doing because recent seasons they've been down in sort of 8th and 7th and stuff like that and just not being anywhere near the top at all so this should be interesting to see how they um, have progressed chance now um, Amencia can you get Sane through nice yeah nice Wait, I was just waiting for the, for the gap waiting for it at first I thought it was actually going to Shinkle but um, kind of it didn't and which is good against to Ramirez and with his 99 finishing he shouldn't shouldn't miss but you know what you know what things are like you know there we go nicely starting that's what we want to see I think it was on Titi it was sliding possibly to try and stop it but we just just perfectly placed and that's a nice start Oh, nicely cleared up guys oh, that's not that's not good that was lazy but he's come into the middle here and he's done really well and he scored we were trying everything then to tackle him loads of late pressings late tackle on him and he was just managing to hold off the challenges and gets a, a good goal as well from it but yeah we were we were no, you know, it's like challenging here, challenging, challenging again, you know what I mean? Then Sula comes out and he misses like times it wrong and 
Buries it in the top corner. You can't miss there. He went in with the wrong foot. That's the problem. Sula went in with his wrong foot. He went. If he'd gone with his right, he's blocking that. He went with his left, and it opened up the gap. Another another option for FIFA 20. I keep saying it. Can we please have dedicated throwing takers like we do with corner takers? Can't see the circle. I can't. The, the, I can't see the circle. That's weird. So the sun's just nightmare. I can't see the circle in there. It said it was cloudy. I mean, this is just awful weather, like or shadows or whatever. One one shouldn't be. Well, I need to moan about it. Let's get on with it. Well done, Schinkel. Well done, Ramirez. Come on, I need players running. There goes Schinkel now, right? Come on, game. Don't do this to me. You know full well he's going to like bury this. Yeah, it's so close. That's two we've had now. Get up. Well done, Pavard. Good header. Fine, Sonny. That's not the best ball inside, but Schinkel has done well. We got unlucky there. Really unlucky. There's the interception. Here's Verratti. Verratti. Come on. God, well done, Armian. De Jong now, play it out here. Right, come on, Sarni, you've been quiet. Navas wants it. Ah, to Stegen, it has not reached it. Come on, it's got to be in. Oh, I was like, come on, please. Navas just, just gets there. And then I'm thinking, please. You know what I mean? Don't edit this away. Oh, well done, Amencia. Well done, Navas, for just giving every ounce. Like you, know, you just know that he'd have been like absolutely knackered running to get like that, that last little bit of energy just to just to nick it away. And not only did he nick it away from Tostag, and he was more, he was composed enough to like take stock and pick Amencia out in the box. Nice. Come on. Oh, he's quick. He's quick. Oh, he's very quick. Don't be a penalty. That's not a penalty. I just knew it. Like, you know what I mean? He's, all I'm doing is I'm just standing there and, and, and literally he is just running to me. It is not a penalty. He's literally, he's, like, he's run into me and, and, it's, and, and that's what's made me, or Sula, move to the side. Oh, it's here with the penalty. Come on. Oh. That is taking the piss. Shinkle. Right. Ramirez. Going to get it through to Shinkle. Ah, it's the Stegen. I went to dink it, he somehow gets a hand on it, and then De, De Jong's like first touch is like a heavy one. Game is determined for me not to beat Barcelona here. Well done, Sula. Ramirez. Go on, Shinko. Where are you going? What on earth? Nava. Oh, that's a penalty! Thank you. I mean, I don't understand how the, it was. It was it, Schinkel had the ball. He was running straight, and then all of a sudden, it made it go diagonal. Like I mean, so it's more going towards their like defenders. I'm, uh, I'm going to make some changes as well. I think maybe we'll bring Callum Hudson and Doy on to play in the cam role, and um, Neves will come on for a Mencia. Sane with the penalty. We know Tostegan's going to save this. We know he is because um, game just. Doesn't want me to. Oh, thought he put it wide. Ah, uh, it's going. It's oh, oh no, we don't need to. We can celebrate. I thought for a minute that would have made it two-two. I don't know why. Well done, Sane.
Whip it in. Chance. Get in, Sane. Get in. He was very quiet first half, but it's come to life in the second half. Great again from Navas. Yes, two wingers playing really well. Now, now we can we can relax a little bit now. It's supposed to be, I, I don't know why Hudson Odoi didn't lock on to him because he was like the closest one to it. So I don't know why it didn't like lock on to him. It just went on to Sane, but fair enough, you know what I mean? It's in the back of the net, I don't care, like at the end of the day. Um, what's he done with that? Is he to off us? Free kick? What? What? <laughs> what is going on? Not only is it a free kick, but why did our player go and run and get the ball for them? How is it a free kick? This lad tends to put a bit of whip on these oh. Needs it here. Whipped into the box. Of course. I've got, I've got to keep forgetting, like, you know what I mean? It's got to make it... Oh, it's called ultimate difficulty for a reason, so it's going to make things stupid, isn't it? Navas is away here. Patrick's on. Is he offside? He is. They're not. They're not going to win this, but I just want. It'd be nice to get another goal just to rub it in, especially from this like bloody R2. Oh, they're going to get one. They're going to get one. No, here it comes. What a save! What a save! What is that? Why is it not clearing it? Oh, jump! <sighs> Fucking hell! I know Lex is right. Lex is right. I shouldn't moan about this game because you all know about it. But when you stop, when when you press buttons and nothing happens, that's not a difficulty level. It's not a difficulty setting in a game. I mean, can you imagine playing Dark Souls and every time you had to dodge or you had to like block or whatever sort of thing, you pressed it and you just got lamped with a sword and it's like, what? Well, it's on difficult. It's, it's, it's that's how hard it is. Yep, that's not difficult. You just basically, the game, you're not letting me... It's like, why won't they head it away? It's like, well, it's the ultimate difficulty. That's why they won't head it away, to make it difficult. No! It's not, that's... No! No! Sorry. That's not how it should be. I know. I'm sorry. I just can't help but... Oh, it annoys me. You know why it annoys me? Because I, I love football. That's why it annoys me so much. Because these knobheads ruin this game. That's why we won 4 2. I'm sorry, I just can't. St it's like I need to do all this, like, anger. I'll probably cut all this out because I need to do this off, like, you know what I mean, camera, like, instead of doing it in front of you. Because you all know, you're all frustrated, I get it. But, <sighs> fuck me. I'll oh, calm down. I'll take five minutes and come back for the game against um, Man City. Because otherwise, I'll be just fuming against that one. Because that's going to be exactly the same. Because it will do exactly the same. Uh, it will. It just will. So I need to take five minutes out and I'll be back for the Man City game, guys. Sorry. So we're off to, as you can see, rainy Manchester. It always rains in Manchester. <laughs> it's just something that, that's what it is. It's to do with, like, you know, the moors and stuff like that, like, you know, but yeah. Um, just it always seems to rain when in Manchester. Um, the Man City side, the, the actual squad, is, is actually kind of depleted. Um, that's why Vincent Company is um, at the back there because David Alaba is injured as, uh, and they've also um, John Stones um, is not there. I couldn't see him, um, so they've only got um, Sandler, and they've also got Company. And I thought Vincent Company would be better than than Sandler because he's seventy four rated. So yeah, kind of depleted at the back. Um, They've got Talisker, who obviously we sold um, to them. Um, they've got Cousance as well, who um, um, we obviously have sold to them as well, but he's injured. Um, so they've got quite a few injuries, and so that's why the team is as it is. Is the best like lineup that I could, you know, put out. They have got Sergio Aguero still, but he's like he is um, like 86 rated now, like sort of thing. So that is why um, Jesus is leading the line. Um, but yeah, that, that's the best side I can put out for them. Like you know what I mean? So. 
We've uh, made some changes ourselves. We've got Hudson Adoy going to play in the cam. Timmy Weir up top. We've got Ruben Neves going to start. Um, we've also got Romero in alongside Pavard instead of Sula. And we've got um, Masayoka um, in goal because, he, like I said, he's our cup goalkeeper. Right then, let's see um, how we get on um, away in Manchester. So as the commentary on this game always says... Um, there's a battle within the war. We've got Taliska, obviously used to play for us, and we've got Sane that used to play for them. Both of these have won their opening two games, so we're both on six points. Milan are on zero, CSK are on zero. So I think Milan will be, I mean, you know, hoping that we do beat City to give them a chance. Like, a draw wouldn't be um, good for Milan, but we're not here. To, to please Milan, we're here to please the Malaga fans, so let's go out and do a job. Gabriel Jesus is going to be a threat. Sterling, obviously, with their pace, those two are going to be a threat. Even Bernardo Silva is, is fairly quick. Not as quick as them, but he is still, he's, he's, he's good on the ball and he's still a threat as well. So their front three is um, is definitely a, a, a big threat. Near Blue Moon screaming out. Here is Sane, obviously wants a blue. Hudson Adoy sees a chance here. Navas, oh, yes, oh, I thought he's just, that's a great strike, he kept it low and hit it past Edison, hits the post, but luckily it rebounded back and he was quickest to react and, yeah, it's a great first start and we just shut up that blue moon rendition straight away. Should Edison have done better here? Oh, I suppose if he'd have died, he'd have probably given away a penalty, wouldn't he? So he was a bit sort of damn. Yeah, Navas is definitely having a decent season. Wyatt well, yeah, through Sane. Plays it back. Chance to Hudson Adoy. Good save by Edison. Mendy has to force that one out for a throw in. Navas now. Can he get it through to Adoy? He can't. The ball in like it's not bad, but Ruben Nevis' header is absolutely terrible. But well, what's that? I don't know what his heading's like to be honest, but that is terrible. Doesn't really matter what his stats say, does it? Stats aren't going to change history. That was just a terrible header. Nice. Find someone. Uh, wasn't that the person I was going for? But De Jong, maybe. Oh, Hudson Adoy. You got Navas screaming for it. There we go. Come on. Finish it. Get in. I wasn't going to do the same as what I did in the last game and play it across. I was tempted. I was thinking, is he onside? No, oh, I'll just go with Navas. So I didn't get a second. Why not? I mean, even if Edison had saved it, he might have pushed it out towards whoever it was that was running in. I think it might have been Wire. I was thinking, oh, do I, I could square this, but you know, you know, if I square in this, like you know, what I mean, that it's just not happening. Good finish, Navas. All right, we'll take um, Neves off because he's just not having a good game at all. Um, Hudson and Doidge also going to make way. Schinkel um, is going to come on for him, and um, Jetson Fernandez is going to come on for Neves. Well done, Sane. Here we go. Schinkel's in. Yes. In off the post. You have to do stuff like that to be able to beat Edison. It's two that we've done now. We've hit the post. Now that's the first goal that he scored. And then the third one right there. I mean, we are much the better side. Much the better side. So this should be. This should have been a lot more. But yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, they're not even waiting to. I don't know what they're doing. They're not even waiting to get forward. Why are they like knocking it about here? <laughs> if you're a, if you're a Man City fan, you'd be like, what? Why are you doing this? Why are you like just like knocking it about down here? Like that's he's gonna keep that in. Oh, I was gonna say. I had a feeling to keep that in, but Sterling looks back with like, uh, what the hell was that? So after all that, they play that that through ball pass that he can, and it goes out. De Bruyne, who kept very quiet. But there we go. There's three points, you know, and we've upset the Man City fans, which is nice. 
it was, there was just there was just so many decisions there and the way that the game was. I mean, look at that. They only had one attempt. I don't know. I understand that. T. <laughs> I'm not going to go with the game. I'm just saying. If it's supposed to be ultimate difficulty, instead of being silly and making the passing all screwed up or making it so that when you press a button it doesn't do what you say. Make Man City have eight or nine attempts on goal instead of just one. That's what the game should be doing. To make it all more difficulty, that's how it should be. You know, them just bombarding you having to defend like crazy, but they just weren't. Most of the time they were just sat playing little triangles around the midfield area and you're just like, why are you doing that? I know, I'm preaching to the converted. I know. I know. If you did like today's episode, <laughs> please slap a like on it. Um, I just need to stop being Victor Meldrew. And if any of you watching that don't know who Victor Meldrew is, just type into Google and you'll understand him, who Victor Meldrew is. But I need to stop being him. And try and get through this until FIFA 20 comes out so I can moan about that. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Um, yeah, catch you on the next one. Stay from Mongo Gaming, signing off. Cheers. <laughs>